Well, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. My name is Louie. I hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. We're just hanging out at the shop today. We've got uh, a cryptic tournament going on, actually. We're between rounds. Uh, but I want to make a video today talking about uh, March of the Machine serialized cards. Pretty crazy. I'm not sure if this has been a, a major conversation point. I haven't really seen many people talking about this, but serialized cards have different artwork. We're starting to see people who got uh, collector boxes early. Uh, stores are getting them for their pre-release and they kind of shipped out on Thursday. So Friday, Saturday, we start seeing boxes as stores. And as people are opening these, they're seeing the serialized cards with different artwork. It's really cool. Let me show you the Shieldred that was picked up and pulled. Uh, this is the uh, the artwork that's on the serialized cards, which we had not seen before. And it appears that this is exclusive artwork for the serialized cards uh, compared to the Martin Machine one that was spoiled. Uh, this is the artwork for that. Really cool artwork. I actually really like the the saga that kind of goes along with it. It's a really cool, I don't know, it's just cool how the artwork coincides and goes across. But anyway, uh, different artwork on both cards and then the serialized cards having different artwork. This is different than the previous serialized cards we've seen in Brothers War, uh, like sc Scrap Trawler here. You have the schematic, schematic, whatever, uh, and the serialized version, $50,000 for that thing. That's ridiculous. TCG low sarcasm, uh, is the same artwork as the non one. And this is one of the things I said was that, uh, serialized cards should have almost like a reserved list artwork. And I think as people get frustrated with the collector versus investor versus player dichotomy, I've always kind of said, and a lot of people have said, I've kind of agreed uh, that the doing a serialized card or a reserved list artwork is a really, really good idea for Magic the Gathering. It gives collectors and investors some confidence and something that they know won't be reprinted or won't be, you know, will be unique and will be special. But then it also gives players the ability to have cards reprinted and, and value, you know, come down on them. It's cheaper to play the game. Now, here's a question, and this is what we don't know for sure that I would love to hear from Wizards of the Coast. This is the type of thing I would love to see transparency on and them announce and them say is if this will not be reprinted with the artwork. That would be an absolutely insane um, announcement from Wizards of the Coast to say, hey, look, this artwork by Camille, I don't, I can't really read that bottom, but will not be reprinted ever. Because um, one of the questions is, will they just take this artwork and put it in a secret layer, right? Where it's not in the set and it's a, you know, it's unique artwork for the serialized cards in the set, but they're gonna use the artwork somewhere down the line. And the artwork is really cool. It's fantastic, to be honest with these. You know, shoulders got a head and there's stuff going on in the background. It's just really, really cool. Um, and the question for me, I think initially people are going to get really excited about this. This will, in my opinion, help sell boxes for sure of the collector boxes. I was actually really excited about this when I heard about it. Uh, but the question for me is, do they do something with this artwork coming down the line in the next couple of weeks with a secret layer with that kind of thing? I really like this idea. I really think that serialized cards need to be more unique, need to be more special. One of the things people you know, complained about were like, this is just like an ugly number on it. It's not really that special. It doesn't really add a lot of um, intrinsic. I mean, like it adds value because it's limited, right? But it doesn't add a special appearance or really fun thing for people who want a collectible piece. And I think that this solves that problem when you have the the special artwork. So uh, different artwork on that, I think is a really big win. I would love to hear an announcement and I will be like, I think these boxes and these cards particularly will do very, very well as collectible pieces if they do come out with some sort of announcement that essentially says, we will not be reprinting the artwork that's used on almost like a pseudo, you know, pseudo reserve list um, specific for artwork. I think that's a really good solution for the reserve list question. And it could be that they are testing that out. I'm not saying that this is what I want. Um, it, I haven't really done my math in my head enough, but it, it could be a really interesting um practice for them to say look if we do reserve list artwork on these modern cards and they get to these crazy values it's a safe bet in their opinion maybe that if they say reserve list is changing to be a reserve list artwork in the past too and so then they start printing reserve list cards but just with different artwork with modern artwork that could be a line that they are testing out 
Uh, I'm not saying I'm there. I, I, I am. I'm still very much um, a fan of uh, having some collectible value in Magic: The Gathering. I almost rather than print better than reserve list cards than reprint reserve list cards. Uh, but it would be interesting to see if they reprinted reserve list cards with different artwork and then made a statement that was like, "Hey, the previous cards that were on the reserve list are all reserve list artwork." It would be interesting to see what would happen with them. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. Do you like this better? Are you more excited now to open up packs knowing that the artwork is different? Um, or do you just hate serialized cards? I know a lot of people just hate serialized cards and I think it's a money grab and a cash grab. This feels less of a, this feels less like a cash grab to me that they put the time into um, you know, hiring artists and, and making it unique. Um, and not just recycling the artwork from the non-serialized version. So pretty cool. Let me know what you think. Uh, remember to be kind to the people around you. Have yourself a fantastic weekend. Hopefully you get some time with family and friends and uh, with your kids and all that stuff. Be kind to the people around you. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And we'll see you again next video.